to say, you know, I think that the most important thing in the aging process as you're going through it, and I can speak to it because as I said, I'm 53, um, is to watch your inner running commentary, your gremlins, your negativity, uh, because that can take you down and make you very, very depressive. Um, and I'm not saying depressed, but depressive, sort of negative thinking, negative, negative ways of looking at things. And I, I want to say, um, one of the main things is if you find yourself in a negative way of thinking about aging, you need to find a way, and I'm going to teach you one, to turn down the volume of the negativity because it can be overwhelming and it doesn't serve you. It does not serve you. So a very important technique I would say is, number one, identify what your beliefs are about, neg about what negative beliefs you may have about aging. You know, did you learn them from your family? Did you learn them from watching people? So the number one thing is write them all down and put a lot of, you know, whenever I talk to people who I'm trying to bring forth new thinking about something, immediately the old thinking shows up. Boom. Like we're thinking new things about aging. Oh, no, old thoughts come in. So what you've got to do is catch your old thoughts and you've got to imagine them on an island over there. So you're not discounting the thoughts, but you are lowering the volume of the thoughts, which is very important when you're trying to move into new thinking. You need to lower the volume of the old thinking. And so I like visualization techniques of putting them over there, on an island, over there. Uh, so just even saying those words conjures up the notion of putting words or thoughts or beliefs somewhere other than your immediate forefront of your brain. Uh, so that's an important that's an important thing. Also, I think another really good technique is to, which is what I've done, is find mentors or people that you have found have made have aged well. And I am not talking about looking good. I'm talking about thinking good. You know, people can look amazing, but their thoughts are in the toilet in terms of what they think about aging. You know, they hold themselves to these standards that are just absurd. And, um, you know, I, I feel like we have to really, really um, look for other, um, other, other people other than what possibly you grew up with that are doing it well, that are skiing and enjoying and meeting people and not isolating and finding good ways to, um, to interact. These become good examples of how to age.